All right. So I just hope that you can all hear me. Um, so this is the first time we are doing this. We hope it goes well. And we want to just look at um, the, the third eye. That's something that people have been struggling with. And then maybe you are part of them. Now, as we go on, we want to know one thing that these physical eyes help us to see physical things or sometimes to see also supernatural things. But with the issue of the the third eye that a lot of people are asking questions about this third eye issue now that is your spiritual eye so this physical eye sees physical things now um you would know that as good as these eyes are, maybe you've gone to the doctor, they've checked you, your eyes are good, there's nothing wrong. As good as these eyes are, if there is no light, you cannot see. As good as these eyes are, you are talking about activating your third eye. So if you can hear me, let me know that you can hear me. As good as these eyes are, without light, they cannot see in the realm of the spirit. That's what you must understand. And if you are having, you are listening to me, you are watching me. If you have a question, you can ask a question so that I answer. As good as these physical eyes are, they cannot see if there is no light. So if you, for instance, you go into a very dark room and the, there are no lights, you will not be able to see anything or you struggle to see at best. Which means that as good as these eyes are, if there is no light, the light there is important, you will not be able to see. It is the same thing with the spiritual eyes. A lot of you, your spiritual eyes are already activated. Or for you now, maybe I can activate it for you. I can just say a prayer for it to be activated. It has been activated. But the reason why you are not seeing is that you have not been able to attract enough light towards your spiritual eyes to see. For instance, just yesterday in our prayer meeting, we are praying and I see a lady in the meeting who there's someone she has had a confrontation with and the person has threatened her life. And this person is in church all smiley, singing everything. There's nothing that shows. But the reason why we are able to see such an information in the realm of the spirit is because that your spiritual eyes have received light in order to see. That is, the, that is the whole thing. And I'll explain what the light is because if you understand what the light is, then you will know exactly what we are we are talking about. Because for a lot of people, they don't know what the light is. If, if of course, in the physical, um, maybe the sun or natural light or artificial light, that is maybe your, your fluorescent tubes or whatever light you have. Those are the things that form the light in the physical realm. But in the spiritual realm, what forms the light? What is the light that will enable the eye to see? For science says that light is the energy that enables the eye to see. So the eye cannot see without light. So the spiritual eye also cannot see without light. You have to attract that energy. You have to attract that information. You have to attract that thing. Okay. So now the Bible says that your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, which means that for a believer, you cannot have light if you don't have the word of God. First thing. Because the word is the lamp and it is also the light onto your feet. So if you have light, then you can see. But if you don't have light, you cannot see. So once again, what is that light? That light is what we call information. Information. Because the word of God, which is information, is light. Do you understand? So that is the word of God, which is information, is light. So let's say you are studying the scriptures and you read that Paul or let's say Ananias, the Holy Spirit is able to tell him where Paul is, what is happening to Paul. He's blind. He's on this street. This is what he's going through. And then when you meet him, pray for him, do this for him. So that's 
thing that you have just read is information for your spiritual eyes that these things are things that can happen. Do you understand? So that is that is the light. Some of you, your light will be getting information from other people who have walked this prophetic, you know, line and can give you information. So the light is information. Sometimes in order to get this information, you have to meditate. Just stay, meditate on the word of God, pray. And then you realize that now information is coming to you. As you are meditating, you are praying, you realize that information is coming to you. For instance, someone is telling you something. You can hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you about something. So there's light that is coming to you. So that is the light. Do you understand? So the light is information. And the information, you can get it from the Bible. You can get it from men of God. You can get it from prophets of God. You can get it from books, if I can say. But you must be careful the kind of information you receive. It is the amount of light, which means that the amount of information you have will determine how clearly you can see. Do you understand? So those of you watching from Zambia, watching from wherever, you are welcome. And if you have any questions, even as I'm teaching, you ask your questions so that you can, you can be prophetic in, in nature. So many people, you know, some of the guys now in our school of prophets. If you have not joined the inside school of prophets, you want to join. So if you are joining, hello from Zambia, Kennedy, um, you are welcome. So there are people who have joined the school of the ministry who are seeing names, seeing the mantles that are on people's lives. They are seeing all manner of things. Do you understand? So just by training, because you, I keep saying that every prophet is trained. Every prophet is what? Trained. If you have not been trained, you can see so many things and never understand. Now, I just want to round up and then we close. The final thing I'll tell you is that spirits communicate by thought. Number one, for any physical man or any human being to see in the realm of the spirit, he needs the agency of another spirit to help him to see in the realm of the spirit. Do you understand? You need the agency of another spirit. That's why all those who belong to other religions, other sects, other tribes, or other whatever, they, they call for other spirits, saints, all kinds of demonic angels, all kinds of dwarf spirits to do that. But as a Christian, the law is the same because in the realm of the spirit, the law is the same. You need the realm, you need an agency or a spiritual personality to aid you to get information in the realm of the spirit because you cannot see in the realm of the spirit unless you are helped. And in our case, God being so good, we have the Holy Spirit who knows everything. So the way you see is by the Holy Spirit. Do you understand? I hope it is clear. So that is it. Now I've said that spirits communicate by thoughts. That's why sometimes you can have a thought of someone and then immediately the person calls you because spirits communicate by thought. Understand this in your prophetic journey. So sometimes you can just have a thought. Let me pray about this person and then you realize that maybe they say this person is in the hospital or is having an accident. Spirits communicate by thoughts. That is why you must, the Bible says that you must renew your mind. You must, you must renew your mind with prophetic things, with spiritual things, so that when the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, you can decipher whether this is the Holy Spirit or not. So, spirits communicate by thought. Do you understand? Spirits communicate by what? Thought. Everybody write it down. If you are listening to me, write it down so that you don't forget. Write it down. Type it. Spirits communicate by what? Thought. So, for instance, I was telling you about a prophetic word I gave someone in church yesterday who has gone to do something and then she has been threatened. Like, and I never want to speak. I saw her, her name being taken to a shrine in a certain place. I don't want to mention it for security reasons. And then they are trying to do something against her. So, now what I'm telling you is that the way I receive this information is that. It becomes like a thought, even though I am I'm worshiping, praying, a thought comes into my mind that the Holy Spirit begins to speak. There is someone here who is being accused. Then I ask, what's the accusation about? And if you're in the school of ministry, the professor's school of ministry, I've taught you that questions is a code in the spirit. So I ask, what kind of 
accusation is this and the person the, the, the holy spirit says that it's about life and death the person is being threatened that if we don't deal with the situation now there will be an issue so as you are praying meditating listen thoughts will come into your mind as the thoughts come into your mind you ask questions do you understand? As the thoughts come into your mind, ask questions. Now, for a prophet, don't take anything for granted. Or as a prophetic person, don't feel like, oh, this thing happened and, oh, it was just something that it was just random. If you are a prophet, if you are a genuine prophet, called as a prophet, nothing happens for granted. Because the prophet Elijah asked the servants to go and see what is happening in the atmosphere. The servant sees a cloud, which is very small. And just by seeing that cloud, the prophet says that, this and this and that started happening. Someone says, I just started watching you 14 days ago and I'm now able to prophesy accurately. Your teachings are easy and clear. Praise God for your life. All right, so there, there are so many testimonies. Listen, if you, if, especially if you join the school of prophets, I give them assignments that they do. I, I, my assignment is to make the prophetic simple so that people can understand. That is, that is my assignment. Because the prophetic must be taught. It can be taught. That's why Samuel had a school of prophets. And he was teaching the people. One guy called me, one of my sons in the Lord called me yesterday. He was, he was telling me how he, he's now even mentioning names, calling names. I'm like, this is serious. Like, he calls the names. Tell him, who is this person? Who is that person? It's powerful. And I, I continue to teach that. Don't use this as a reason to boast. You understand? It is for us to proclaim that Jesus Christ is alive, that the Holy Spirit is real. So this is the, this is the assignment. And I want to end here. I've taught you something. Spirits communicate by thought. This is the assignment you do. Now, for instance, if you are watching me now, I tell you to close your eyes. And I tell you that imagine your former school. You realize that immediately you'll be able to picture your former school. If I tell you, remember your bedroom, how is it? Go inside. Where is your bed? Where are your clothes? Where did you put your shoe? You can easily realize that you can picture it and go there and space communicate by thoughts. That's the same way if you want to look at something like prophets will tell you that I'm in this country, I'm in that country, I'm in this place. I see this and this here. I see that here. That's how they do it because spirits communicate by thought. So they can be just praying, worshiping, and then by the Holy Spirit, they are transported to maybe even Canada, China, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, USA. So that thought just comes to their mind and then they are already transported to a place and some people call it teleport. Okay, so they're able to go there. They're able to see that they are on this street. On this street, as I go to the street, I saw this name on the street, maybe Kingsville Street. And I saw this house. It was painted white. And I saw this car in front of the house. There were two cars. I saw this and that and that. So that is, that is basically it. Is that okay? So that is basically it. So... You know, the communication of spirits is thoughts. But you have to prune your mind, your thought pattern by the word of God, by prayer, by meditation. Listen, I want to share one final thing and then we close. And I pray for all those who are prophets, prophetic, we want to pray for you. You want to share the broadcast now. You want to share with a friend. You want to share it with someone. I want to pray for you even as we close. I want to pray for you. Share If you have not shared it, I want to share with someone. I want to pray for you. I pray that your prophetic senses will be sharpened in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that you will see clearly in the name of Jesus. That by the spirit of God, I touch your spiritual eyes, your third eyes. That may you see clearly. May you see clearly. May you see clearly. May you hear clearly in the name of Jesus. Whatever is covering your eyes, I command it to be removed. I touch your spiritual eyes. I send the prophetic angels to touch your spiritual eyes. In Jesus' mighty name, you will see, you will hear. If I was praying, you saw some, if you felt something, that because, you know, the third eye is here. There's a connection also here, but I don't have time to teach about it now. But your third eye is just your spiritual eye. Don't let anybody teach you, let you meddle in all kinds of 
burning of incense and candles and all those and those things are not of god as i was praying you send something send me a message god is calling you into the prophetic and you need that training you need the teaching so god bless you if not share the broadcast share the broadcast god bless you hopefully i'll try and be here if the holy spirit permits i didn't know i was going to do this live today but the holy spirit said go on live and then teach this thing so if you have been blessed by it you want to like it and then share my my editors and people always tell me tell the people to like share so that other people can be blessed by it so god bless you if the holy spirit permits me again i'll be here to do another live and then to teach other things there are so many things to learn in the prophetic so god bless you have a wonderful day bye bye